up to the right. So uh, let's let's build on that. I, I want to commend the Army for establishing a firm requirement for the improved turbine engine program um, and for the successful completion of the uh, material um, development decision. Um, I think that what you've done to develop and integrate the engine that provides a heck of a lot more engine power, I think 50% more power, uh, a lot more fuel savings, um, is really a significant combat multiplier and good for cost savings as well. Can you please explain the benefits that this engine is an example looking out into the future uh, will bring to the current and next generation um, aircraft, in support, especially in support of the Air Sea Doctrine and the pivot to the Asia Pacific region? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we're committed to the ITEP engine. As you mentioned, it's going to get us somewhere between a 20 to 30 percent fuel savings, which is huge when you look at the, the burn rate that the platforms, rotor wing platforms do. But it also brings us close to a 40 percent decrease in sustainment cost. So when you combine the fuel savings and the sustainment cost to the added power that you get, that we've been flying airplanes, the one you flew, very underpowered because we kept adding on to them, this now brings the power back. The goal is to put the ITEP engine into the Apache, current Apache, and Black Hawk fleet. It will bring them back to their full capabilities, but also it's linked to the future and the future vertical lift medium because that's an engine that can take us to that next level as we're looking into the late 30s, early 40s of the next variants that are going to possibly come in and replace our aging uh, lift and attack platform. So we see that as a bridging gap. But again, it's the close-in savings we'll get with the energy savings and sustainment savings that are very important to us. Well, I, I actually flew the Otis Flying Blackhawk in the Army Infantry, a 1976 model, fourth off the production line. It's still in Kuwait flying today. So uh, we, we, I understand the long-term lifespan of the aircraft and the military equipment. There's some great equipment. I just want to make sure that as we modernize, we are keeping an emphasis on doing it across the force in order to maintain the uh, operational force in the Guard and Reserve. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Winstrom.